Hi. I know I'm not really prepared to make a video uh, in my appearance, but that's not the problem this morning. Uh, I have been watching a few videos, and I really feel like I need to say a few things. Uh, probably have a, na a name out there for calling uh, Jesus Yeshua, but it's Jesus Yeshua. I prefer to call him Yeshua. That's not what this is about. I've watched a few videos this morning, and not just because of that, but for days I've been posting. I felt like something big was going to happen. But the main thing this morning I want to say is that I look around my neighborhood, and I have neighbors all over that don't know the gospel. They don't know anything about it, and here I sit knowing what I know, and I haven't told anybody. I do live uh, as a witness an example in my life to my neighbors uh, I have shared with a few of them but and I also have signs in my windows they probably think I'm crazy but that's okay <laughs> but anyhow this morning I just want to say I mean I look around my neighborhood and these people are not ready if something were to happen and I'm not I'm not here to be a doomsday preacher I'm not here to uh, say something big's going to happen, although I really think something is, and you can laugh and call me crazy if you want to. But what I want to do this morning, and I'm asking for your prayers, is I'm going to go to my neighbors this morning and share the gospel with them about Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, that he did. God sent his own son in the form of a man, and he lived here for 33 years and was lived a sinless life. Because he had to live a sinless life in order to be the blood sacrifice atonement that would appease God for the sins of the world. And that is the only way that a person is going to make it to stand before God as if the blood of Christ has been applied to them. So that has never changed in my way of thinking. I know a lot of people think because I like Jewish things uh, and I keep Yahweh's holy feast that... I have went into Judaism. That's not true. Most Jews do not believe in Jesus, and it's partly our fault because we're proclaiming that uh, he did away with God's holy word, the Torah, and that's not true. Uh, the Torah was misinterpreted, and I don't even want to get off on that, but it's really laws and teachings. He gives instructions on how to live this life, and that's why I observe the Sabbath, and that's why I observe the Holy Feast Days. Not to save me, but because I am saved, and because I do want to identify with Him. Uh, every bride, when she marries, she takes her husband's name, and she identifies her life with her husband. Uh, Yeshua is our husband, and we are His elect, and the elect should know Him and about Him. But that's not my message this morning. I just want you to, right now, Think about people that you may know in your life that you haven't told the gospel to. And I really think it's a time of uh, searching our hearts and knowing, you know, asking God to forgive us. Is there anything or is there anyone I've sinned against? If I sinned against you, Father, if I have, please uh, forgive me and Forgive the people that you have ought against. That is one of the most important things you can do right now. And to look around at the people around you and tell them, what if he would return in the next few days? Is there people going to stand there and say, I was your neighbor and you didn't tell me? I don't want to do that. That's where my heart is this morning. And I'm keenly aware of his presence this morning. I've the whole time I've been out and about in my yard, I just have had this awareness that he's here, that something is going to happen. I don't know. It may be nothing. But what if it was? That's all I'm asking. What if it was? Are you ready today for you to meet your Savior? And that's what we need to share with other people today. So that is my message. Please, I know there's people makes fun of me for making messages. I don't care anymore. I don't care if you call me crazy. I am who I am. I love the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, with all my heart. I've been saved since I was 19. I haven't always been perfect. I've, there's times in my life that I stay, swayed away from them, and I didn't live for him. But I've been a faithful witness for him for the last 20 years, and 
I do my best. That's all I can do. We all fall short of the glory of Yahweh every day. So, but thankfully, we have an advocate with the Father, Yeshua HaMashiach. If we sin and we ask forgiveness, He will forgive us of our sins. Just cleanse your heart today. Share the gospel with your neighbor. And just think, what if it was? And actually, we are supposed to live that way each day. We're supposed to live our life each day thinking that He was going to come back any minute. That will keep us on our toes and will keep us living a life for Him. So that's all I have to say, and I hope someone's listening. Thank you.